Arnaldo and I are back at it again on yet another aviation outing, but this time for an entirely different reason. In December 2018, we flew Arnaldo's 1976 Cessna 172M from Orlando, Florida to Santa Monica, California and back by way of New Mexico, the Grand Canyon, and Sedona, Arizona. That was a truly amazing trip, and if you haven't watched the seven-part Coast to Coast series on it, I highly recommend it. I'll put a link down in the description to it. As of the second day of that trip westbound, Arnaldo had officially accepted an offer on his airplane, so our Coast to Coast journey served as a final hoorah for Arnaldo's first airplane. When we got back to Florida, November 9337 Hotel was officially sold and went on to her new home. And the very turning of that page is what leads us to this next chapter. Welcome to part one. What's up, man? How's it going? How you doing? It's good to see you. Check out who's back. <laughs> that wasn't long, right? It wasn't long at all. Holy He's he, he totaled the 172, so he's buying another one. No, he sold it. It's funny, now I can say it, I guess. It, it actually sold as we were on our trip. It did. It, it, the, the final offer. Technically, yeah, so it's, it's, yeah. But then you actually gave it to the owner and let him take possession of it pretty recently, like a few days ago. About eight days ago, yeah. We're in Baltimore, Maryland, and uh, it's snowing outside pretty profusely. So we're going to grab some dinner. And uh, we might go look at the airplane tonight, but if not, we're gonna head out tomorrow. What did I say? It was P5. P5? Pretty sure. Hopefully, we take the right car. Okay. I don't... It's a Kia with it's sport Kia. mode. Yeah. What? There's a lot of snow everywhere. <laughs> what is this white crap falling from the sky? It's coming down. It is coming down. It's coming down pretty good. We're gonna drive up to Dover, Delaware. We're gonna pick up his new airplane and uh, we're gonna fly it to Texas. You're gonna drop me off. I'm gonna get you your complex and high performance endorsements if you don't screw up. If I don't screw up. If he doesn't screw up. He's gonna fly it from Texas by himself to Orlando to its new home under new ownership with a fresh complex and high performance endorsement. Let's get this show on the road. Crazy. Closes at 10. Closed. And what time is it? 5.30. Okay. This is gonna be a good trip. Already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like Texas a lot. Texas is great. I'm not a fan of constant snow like this, but every now and then being in a nice constant snow like this, that's, that's pretty cool. This place is closed too, Timbuktu. I guess I, I, it, because it's snowing tonight and everybody's like, nah, we're not gonna work tonight, I guess. But the jets are breaking out of, out of the clouds over our heads right now, so that's kind of cool. But we're just gonna drive towards Dover and, uh, and find somewhere to eat out there. We need to go that way anyways, so we'll figure it out. That'll do. Oh my God, that's so dinky. So when I got out to go get the shot of the, I guess it was the Delaware State Line sign, I stepped in a ditch and my feet just got buried in snow. So my socks are like soaked. So I don't want to do the whole trip with like damp socks just in case something happens to the other ones. We, uh, we stopped at Walmart, got me some socks. My hands are cold, so I got some gloves. Oh, and this is so important. Got a bargain on this gem. I'm going to die knowing you. Huh? Oh, this is warm. I can just fold these up. I think they snap. They, yeah, they snap in they place. Snap in place. And then I can just wear the light speed right here. Perfect. <laughs> I would like to point out that I am incredibly warm right now. This was 10 bucks at Walmart. I think I'm gonna wear it all day tomorrow while we fly. What do you think? I think I should. I can get the light speed to fit right there. Yeah, it'll fit. 
God, I'm so warm right now. He's not, but I am. Sit rep. You know what a sit rep is? What is it? Sit. Sit rep? Situation what? report. Oh. We go to the FBO and ask them, hey, what's the status on the runway and how are we looking? And they were like, oh, <laughs> no, it's probably not going to open today. And the dude was like laughing at the fact that we were asking that we wanted to take off today. They didn't plow it yesterday, which is when it should have happened, but the plows, per their contract, they go plow, I guess it's the ferry. Yeah, the terminal or something terminal. like that. Basically what happened is it snowed, then yesterday the snow melted a little bit on the runway, became water, and then the, the temperature dropped well below freezing overnight and refroze it. So now there's snow on the runway, but underneath it is a good layer of ice. The airplane will get going down the runway, that's not the problem. There's gonna be no steering authority until you get speed, no airspeed, airspeed yeah. over the rudder, and there's no braking action. So if we have to abort the takeoff for any reason, we're screwed. If you get up to, to rotation speed and we have to go to idle no and hit the braking. brakes, no, there's no braking action. We're gonna slide. We're not gonna play with that. Basically, the clouds are clearing up, it's breaking up. We see blue sky on all sides of us and the sun's finally coming out. What's the outside temp? Outside temp's still 26, 26 Fahrenheit. Yeah. So we're heading back to, to Delaware Air Park and we're just gonna wait. Keep monitoring the weather. The weather's great now. Uh, we're just waiting on the runway to thaw out. We're gonna make the best of it. Roll with it. Make the best of it. I got, I'm, hey, I'm good. I got my. My Aviation 101 jacket, I've got gloves, I've got a toboggan. That's brand new. Where's all your stuff? Night. I don't Yeah, that. 10 bucks at Walmart, come on. Now this is what you do when, you, when you're wearing gloves and you can't operate your phone. You just use your nose. Oh, come on, open. <laughs> Swipe up, passcode. Oh, that was wrong. Got it. <laughs> I have never seen anybody do that. Just gotta keep one eye open to see what you're doing. I bet the person in the car next to you, <laughs> they're like, what is he doing? <laughs> We're creeping up on noon already and the runway is still covered in ice. Airport management has the snowplows working double quick time to get the runway cleared for us and it looks like the ice is indeed starting to melt. As soon as we get a green light, it'll be time to saddle up this airplane. This will be Arnaldo's first time behind the controls of a complex and high performance aircraft. I'll be talking on the radio and reading the checklist for Arnaldo and walking him through all of the procedures that are new to him. Before this trip, Arnaldo did all of his homework on complex, high performance, and turbo systems, so we're ready to get in the airplane and apply that knowledge. They're gonna let us know when the runway is good to go. Airplane's out, we're gonna go gas it up. I think they plowed in front of the fuel farm for us. Yeah. And we'll just see the, the that plow's actually back there right now on the runway. But uh, as soon as they give us the word that it's open, we're good to go. This is the duty of the CFI. You just bought the thing, so I guess I'll fill it up for you. All right, make sure it's master on primer. Light the candles. Oh, come to 2307. Zulu. We monitor one, one and three, two. Yeah. Three, zero, at six. Not visibility more than one zero. And I'm here to help you out. Whatever you need, if I talk too much, tell me. Beautiful thing about a low wing is after you're done doing the run up, you don't have to like turn and look into the traffic. <laughs> Boom, you just look over your shoulder. <laughs> All, right. All right. And then hold the brakes firmly and you got it. Do you, do you want me to read this or do you want to read it yourself? Um, no, you, you can read them to me. Okay. So engine run up, brakes hold and set. Yep. Fuel selector is on the fullest tank. It, they're both full. Mixture is on rich. And then with a heading bug, I always put the heading bug on runway heading. Just in case this guy decides to engage, it's not going to turn you off from runway heading. Okay, so when I'm flying the GPS, I just... This is my heading, and then this is the course. Right. Okay, so when I, if I want to intercept... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll just, play with all that. Just like the 430, see the GPS enunciation yes. there? Hit CDI. 
VLOC okay, well, it, and then GPS. Yeah. That's a di so when you're in nav, that's what it's going by, whichever mode. Yeah, whichever mode you're in. Okay. Right. All right. So the mixture's rich throttle up to 2,000 RPM. And we actually don't have a yellow arc on this one. The J's did. Okay. All right. So we're going to check our engine instruments, make sure everything's in the green. Yes. All right. Load meters. Where's the load meter? Or the end meter, rather, right here. Oh, that. Okay. Yeah, that's yep. it. Vacuum. Four to 4.6 to 5.4. Yes. It's in the green. All right. And magnetos. Right both, left both. Left. I got a drop. Both. Right. Both. Okay. okay. Prop cycle. So this is normally the cadence I do it. So I'm, on the first one, I'm looking for oil on the windscreen. Back. Back in. Okay. And then on the second one, I'm looking for a drop in RPM, rise in manifold pressure at the same time, and you'll see him kind of do that. Yeah. I'm going to do it one more time. Just yeah. So I can see it. Yep. There you go. And then on the okay. third one, we're looking for a slight drop in oil pressure. Yes. There you go. Yeah. That's because it's right. actuating the prop. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And the prop cycle, throttle idle check. Roller back to idle. Alright, idling at 600. And then theater panel check. So go ahead and test it. Just push, hold, push and hold the test button right here. Yeah, push and hold it. Let everything come on except that one. That yeah. one's not supposed to come on, and then you're good. Okay. Alright, that all looks good. And notice we don't have an exhaust gas temp. Oh, well, that, that'll be your tit. <laughs> okay, we, we can't say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I understand it says TIT. <laughs> yeah, it's tit. <laughs> um, because effectively, that's your exhaust gas temp, is right. your turbine inlet temperature. It's coming from the same place. Okay, so that's the run-up checklist. Pretty straightforward. Before takeoff checklist, control, flight controls for incorrect. Oh, let me get my extremities out of the way. Yep. God, the, tr the travel is just... It's not much. This airplane doesn't take much. Yep. Yeah. And yep. then engine instruments check. <sighs> Everything looks good. Flight instruments uh, check and set. Uh, altimeters check. Yeah, what's our... Um, yeah, 3021. All, right. All right, comm and radios check and set. Okay, and the trim set for takeoff. These are... Trim easy. is yeah. set for takeoff. Uh-huh, and flaps set takeoff. Flaps, it's, uh, flaps. so... Flaps. Yeah, you gotta hold it down and then right in the takeoff range. A little more. There you go. There you go. Cow flaps are open. Fuel selector is on the fullest tank. Yep. The throttle friction lock is adjusted. Yes. Prop set full forward, high full RPM. Full forward. Mixture set full rich. Full rich. Seats and seat belts check. Yep. I'm just strapped in. Doors latched. Baggage doors latched. <laughs> I pushed over here. <laughs> he pushed. Pushed on the wall. <laughs> Alright, autopilot is off. No enunciations. Yep. 65 is when I start encouraging Pulling, it, yeah. and then about 70 is when it's going to want to come off. Okay. And it's going to take quite a bit of back pressure. All right. I'll be I'll be here to kind of like, yeah, a little more, a little yeah. more. Okay. All right, we're briefed, and we're good to go. You ready? All right, I'm ready. All right, so positive rate, I'm going to pull back and up. Pull back and up, and what I do, I usually say positive rate, no runway remaining. Yeah. You're up. So basically, at the point where if you lost your engine and you have to glide down, you're going to blow past the end of the runway. Yeah. That's when I pull the gear up. Delaware Air Park traffic, Mooney 1173 Golf, departing runway 27 VFR, we're going to be southbound VFR, Delaware Air Park. Your final's clear. And we are good for left traffic, so we can make a left turn. I got a slight crosswind from the right. Yep. So just a wee bit of right aileron once we get onto the runway. Yeah, this is very touchy because the travel is yes. barely anything. That's barely anything, right. All the brakes and manifold pressure to 36. Uh -huh. Gonna do a little bit. That's 30. Yeah, five, 36. Eyes outside, center line. Totally off the brakes, right? Yeah. For 60. All right, haul back. Back pressure, back pressure, back pressure, back pressure. Yeah, it's, it does take a up. lot. She's heavy. Yeah. She's heavy, so keep, keep her coming up. That's a positive rate of climb, and I don't see any more runway. So, no. out and up. Gear up. There's the thud, the gear is up. And indicating. And then pitch for VY. And when you're at a safe altitude, you can uh, 
Retracting laps. Looking good, looking good. So we're going 90. And that's pretty good. Yeah, Brandywine, that'll do 390 Echo is uh, 3 miles left of the field, descending to enter the left downwind to land uh, runway 27 to Brandywine. Alright, flaps up. Okay. Delaware Air Park traffic, Mooney 1173 Golf just departed runway 27, it's going to be a left turn out, left turn VFR to the south, Delaware Air Park. Clear left. Silver approach, Mooney 1173 Golf. Mooney 1173 Golf, they were approached, the altimeter 3021, squawk 0505 and IDENT. 0505 IDENT, 1173 Golf. 0505 IDENT. Looking good, looking good. Good, good en route climb there. Mooney 73 Golf, radar contact, 4 miles southwest of 33 November, verify you're looking to pick up your IFR clearance. A firm, 73 Golf. Seven three golf, Roger. Verify current altitude. Climbing through two thousand two hundred now. Seven three golf. Mini seven three golf, clear to Kilo Charlie Hotel Alpha Airport via direct canny as filed. Climb maintain six thousand. Direct canny as filed up to six thousand for one one seven three golf. Mini seven three golf, affirmative. Climb to climb maintain at six thousand. Up to six thousand. Seven three golf. All right, we are IFR, so direct canny. Cirrus one one Delta Golf, descend to maintain five thousand. Center maintain 5,000, there's one Delta Golf. Mooney 1173 Golf, contact Potomac Approach 124.55, have a safe flight. 2455 1173 Golf, good day. 12455, so we tap here. 12455. And then you hit transfer, and it flips the outside of the other. Potomac Approach, Mooney 1173 Golf, 5,000, climbing 6,000, direct Ridgey. Mooney 1173 Golf, Potomac Altimeter 3022. 302273 Golf. 05 Golf Bravo, transponder observed, sit on course outside of Glass Bravo, Pulse Round, Timber 3022. 3022 and proceed on course outside of Bravo. Golf Bravo. Alright, cruise checklist. Any instrument instruments check normal? Yeah. Flight instruments check? Yes. And meter check. Good. Vacuum sufficient? Yes. Landing light, taxi light off. Yep, top flaps closed. And cruise power 31 inches, 2500 RPM. And the mixture lean for 14 gallons an hour. Golf contact, Roanoke approach 135.0, good day. 135.0, seven three golf, good day. Approach Moody 1173, golf level 10,000. Moody 1173, golf, Roanoke approach, Lynchburg altimeter 3019er. 3019er, seven three golf. Picking it up, approach Mooney 1173 Golf, like 1 to 12,000 if we can. Mooney 1173 Golf, Roger, standby. Mooney 1173 Golf, starting to pick up some light rhyme here in the top. Mooney 1173 Golf, climb maintain 1 2000. 1 2000, 1173 Golf. Yeah, I've just got a little touch of ice out there. Washington Center, Mooney 73 Golf, climbing through 10,700 for 12,000. Number 1173 Golf, Washington, Center, Roger, Lynchburg, altimeter 3019er, let me know when you get out of the icing. 3019er, and we are out of the icing already, uh, 73 Golf. Roger, thank you. And Mooney 1173 Golf, we can give you a full pilot report if you want it. And November 73 Golf, go ahead with Pirate. Mooney 1173 Golf, the tops were right at 1010,000, the outside air temperature was a minus 4 Celsius, and we were picking up light rhyme. Roger, thank you for the report. We decided to change our destination to Asheville, North Carolina for a number of reasons. The sun is well on its way down, we're above a solid layer of clouds, and we're most likely going to need to shoot an approach down to the airport. And we're dealing with sub-freezing temperatures at altitude across the entire region, which means icing inside the clouds. 
An airmet for icing showed up over Chattanooga, Tennessee, which was our original destination. We decided to change our final destination to Asheville, North Carolina, as it wasn't under an airmet for icing, nor did it have any pilot reports of icing in the area. We set up for the ILS-35 into Asheville and we descended down through the clouds. We did pick up light rime ice on the descent, so we reported it to Tower after I walked Arnaldo through his first landing in a complex airplane. Okay, we're looking for it to capture the glide path. There it goes, glide slope. We're looking for a negative speed. 1173 Golf, in contact Tower, 121.1, good afternoon. 211, 1173 Golf, good day. And I've got the runway. Asheville Tower, 1173 Golf, ILS 35, runway in sight. For 1173 Golf, Asheville Tower, wind 340 at 11, runway 35, clear to land. Runway 35, clear to land, 1173 Golf. Once you get below 132, yep, drop the gear. Keep your hand on it. Boom, gear down, gear down. You're down. Cool. All right, so we're good there. Reintroduce a little bit of power. We just passed the final approach fix, so let's go ahead and set the airplane up for landing. Okay. Let's ease the mixture to full ridge because we're very close to sea level. All right. And let's real happily and gently ease that prop full forward. Real slowly. There she is. Okay, right. so that's red, blue green we got gear down right the runway is clean we're good okay. to go so whenever you're ready go ahead and add your first notch of flaps which is takeoff the takeoff setting there you go all right doing a hundred knots so we slow down a bit maybe bring it to 90 yep i'd say 90 is a fantastic speed all right gear down gear down can't check it too many times nope you cannot i do it a million times before i land your pre-landing checklist is complete all right. I gotta get used to this right. control position. Attention aircraft information. Echo now current at Asheville, altimeter 3016. On glide slope, on localizer. Autopilot's doing pretty good. I'd go ahead and, uh, and disconnect it. This being your, for your first real AP. landing in this airplane. Yep, AP disconnect. All right, she's disengaged. So you've got the airplane. Okay. Let's uh, get faster. Let's get faster. We don't want to be quite down at 80 knots yet. Let's do about 90. So let's increase some power. There you go. And we still, since we were cleared for the ILS, not the visual, we do want to relatively stay on the needles. Yeah. We don't need to fixate on them, but we want to stay on the needles. Let's get a little more power in there. And in, in. A little more power. There you go. Let's pick up some speed, kind of get back on the, on the pappies there. Yeah, you're right. The controls are very heavy. Control they are very heavy, down. and it's going to get heavy in the flare. So that's why I, I like to ride the nose up trim. All right, let's start slowing to 80. And we're a little high, so we can reduce power a little bit more, right? And the gear is down, gear is down. Gear's down. And we're not like a Cessna, so we can't just chop and drop it. About 75, we look perfect on the speed. Come down about to about 70 as we get closer to the pavement. There you go. We're reducing the power. There you go. Don't flare too high. That's too high. Let her come down. A little more, a little more. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Pretty good. Not bad at all. A little flat, but... Yeah, it does this, feel like... This airplane's I thought I was... Uh, Higher, or lower than it was. It's a very squatty airplane. Yeah. 73 Golf, continue down to Bravo 4. Turn right, Bravo 4, contact ground point nine. Right, Bravo 4, ground point nine, or 1173 Golf. Yeah, the controls are heavy, but you get very good feedback from the plane. Yes, you do. I am very happy about that. You do. Did you ride the trim? Yes. Okay. I was trim up, trim up, trim yeah. up. So yes, you were flaring early. You were, you were starting to pull the nose up and you were you were too high. Yeah. When I'm sitting on the yeah, ground. Yeah, it's like, it feels like I'm sitting on right on the ground compared to the right. Skyhawk. So, good job. Good first landing. Very good first landing.
So your first approach and landing in the left seat of that airplane, what'd you think? That was pretty cool, actually. Yeah, it's a great airplane. Their moonies are so stable and so great. You did what every beginner moonie pilot does. I still do it, like to this day, because it's Learn weird. High. Yeah. yeah, this airplane sits so low to the ground that if you come from like a 172 or a Cessna, something like that, you flare at Cessna height. So you're like, oh, oh, where's the runway, where's it? And then it stalls and then plops down and you're like, well, that was flat. Even though that's what happened, it was still a good landing. It was pretty good. We're in Asheville, North Carolina now. And I guess we're gonna find somewhere to eat and uh, and get some beer. You say there's good beer here. Yeah. But we don't. We just don't wanna press on any further. It's getting dark. I think we got a little bit of ice on the descent, which we were worried about. Tomorrow's supposed to be clear skies. We're gonna have them put it in the hangar. We learned our lesson from, uh, from Page, Arizona. Uh, frost can get really bad and it's going to be a low of 35 overnight you know I we don't want to risk frost so it's going in the hangar and then tomorrow's clear sky so we should have good weather on to Texas after food and beer In part two, we'll depart Asheville and attempt to make it all the way to Texas to finish up Arnaldo's complex and high-performance training in Austin. That way I can sign him off and he can be on his way to Florida, but we learned during our coast-to-coast -coast trip that hardly anything ever goes as planned, so we'll see how that goes. Hit like on this video if you did, and subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss the next part of this series. If you'd like to support the channel, definitely go check out aviation101.com store and grab some swag there. Thanks for watching, leave a comment down below, and until next time, I want you to stay happy, stay healthy, stay current, and stay proficient. We'll see you in part two.